What's happening guys? My name is Words and today let's talk about Xbox Remote Play, some of the issues and some possible solutions so how you can fix some of the issues. Now first thing first we're going to show you how to set it up, make sure it's set up correctly and then we can go on our merry way. So we can just navigate towards the settings, you can get the settings either to the top or you can just go to one of your shortcuts. So let's go to shortcuts for me and then now we're gonna go to device and connection and then from there you want to make sure that you click on the remote features now what the remote feature does is not only allow you to play away from home through your xbox but also it can help you to actually download pre-download certain games before they actually come out if it's available for you to pre-download that way you don't have to be in front of your xbox and then downloading your game and then it'll be ready for you when you are home so that's one of the main reasons that you would want the remote features enabled so so now that you got it enabled here to the check marks and the next thing we're going to go to the power option so we go to the right and see the power options you got to make sure that it is on sleep this is the option that you need to make sure this is active as you can see the sleep option is active or if you have this option active then it remote feature is not going to work so this one just saves you energy but it also shuts down the xbox completely this means you cannot use the remote feature when you have this option that's the reason why you got to make sure that it is on sleep so once you make sure that the sleep action is active so let's go back to the other option that you need to make sure you verify that it is there so go to the xbox app preferences and then when you go there you got all these options right there so you got to pick one of them that's going to work the best now normally it is on this one right here but you want to choose this one it, this one works as well but this one seemed to work the best for me when i was away from home so you can choose that one so if this option the second option does not work I'm just trying this one so they both work but this one right here as you can see it says only from profile signed in on this xbox console that means this console that you're trying to remote in has to be in the same sign in log on or that you use so it makes you the same name tag or whatever that you use to sign into this said xbox so you gotta make sure you pick one of those options so as you can see between those two options just choose the one that's the best for you but like i said this one right here seemed to work the best for me now that you make sure all these options are good to go so i'm gonna just uh, log off the xbox and then i'm gonna show you that i'm gonna remote into my computer and then see you how this works now let's test the remote play on my pc so first of all you can do this on your pc tablet phone whatever device you want to so make sure that you download the xbox app for whatever device you are using for me on the computer so i'm just gonna go to the xbox app since i already got it downloaded so i'm gonna click on it now that we are inside the app so just look for the console symbol just click on it and then you're just gonna click on whatever system that you're using for me it's the series x and you're gonna have the rocket flying and now we are in remote play so we are inside our xbox basically so then you can see you got all the games and everything that you can do while you were on your xbox you can do on the remote play now one important thing is just make sure that you have a good connection now normally a wired connection is a lot better while you are away from your house from your xbox you can't use the mcdonald wi-fi because it may not work but you need to have the wi-fi with the strong signal that would be the best thing for this remote play because weak internet don't work very good so now you can play whatever game you want so for me it's gonna be diablo now that you can see that we can play the game remotely on our computer or whatever system that you are using so remote play is working so now it's time to talk about some of the issues and the biggest issues that i've seen and i'm gonna show you how to fix that issue it may not work for everybody but it would work for most people if you have the same circumstance 
now here's the biggest issue that i have seen and then there is no solution for microsoft or anybody else on the internet but i'm pretty sure there are some people that find a way just like i did then that solution may not work for everybody but it will work for some people so for that i apologize and i'm going to tell you exactly now you can see it says we found your console but can't connect try from a different wi-fi or cellular network now basically what it's saying is that whatever wi-fi that you are using whatever internet connection that you are using does not match with your system now my solution was because i have at&t and i have a 50 gig hotspot so this is what i had to use because the hotspot that i use because i have internet from at&t my xbox is connected to the at&t internet and then my phone is connected to the at&t internet so with that 50 gig hotspot i just create a hotspot so if you create a hotspot from your phone and then you're gonna connect that hotspot wi-fi to your device or whatever it's a computer or a tablet or whatnot then you just connect it to the same network and that will work that 100 percent work because this is how i was able to get it work that's because it put it in the same network if you have a hotspot from your phone that is using the same internet that you use at home for your xbox or whatnot other than that the best advice i can give you just continue to look for some other solution online so probably by the time you watch this video there might be some solution for that problem so right now this is what we have thank you for watching i will see you guys in the next one